A common question people have is how to change the CSS as a global change to the Moodle platform. Just to make uh, some sort of change that fits over the whole platform is not course dependent, but is platform dependent. I'm going to show you how to do that really, really quickly. It's quite simple as a site administrator, which you must be to do this. You just log in as an admin, go to site administration. Remember we're in Moodle 4.0 here. And if we then go to appearance, all the way down to the theme that we're actually using, in this case, I'm using the boost theme. So I'll choose the boost theme. If I look in the boost theme, you'll see there under advanced settings, we have the raw initial SCSS and then raw SCSS. Now it does tell you that the difference between these two, this field can provide initial SCSS. It will be injected before anything else. And this one here, is for CSS will be injected the end of the style sheet, which means that it overrides the rest of the styles that are currently in there. Uh, it means you don't have to add things like the colon important in there necessarily, because it should, as CSS does it cascades and should write over or take over the final SCSS that is in that particular place. So how does this actually work? Let's go to a page. In this case, we'll go to the home page. Make it quite simple. If I right click and say inspect to have a look at the code and all I'm looking at is this navigation bar along the top and you'll see the navigation bar has a gray border along the bottom. Now let's just say, for example, I'd like to make that uh, something that stands out. Let's make it red. So make that a really bright red. You can see there it's now red and also change the size of it to be, let me see, three pixels high instead. So it really stands out. And I do this um, quite intentionally on some Moodle platforms to differentiate between the dev version or the test version or the production version. All I need to do then is take this navbar fix top, code out of here from the right, go back in to our CSS and paste that in there. So I've now told it for navbar fixed top. Uh, we're putting it at the end of the style sheet. So we won't need to change anything on that. If I just say save changes, you'll notice two important things. One of them is that it typically doesn't change straight away on most middle platforms. In this one it did, and I'll show you the reason why it did, but typically it may not change straight away because the CSS for a theme or for the whole theme is usually cached, which means it won't necessarily update straight away. To fix that, you can just go up here and you can go to cache, C-A-C-H-E, Search the cache, go down to purge, and then you can choose the themes, JavaScript language. So in this case, it's the theme, um, purge selector cache. And just remember, if you do that, it's going to slow everything down for everybody that's using the server until it recaches everything. Once everything starts getting recreated and all the caches are recreated, it will speed up for everybody. That's what I wanted to show you is how you can change the CSS. And obviously you can change any other CSS. So if you need all of your headings to be something different, you could go inspect and look at what that heading is, which is a heading one. If you wanted to change all heading ones across the whole platform, then we'd go to site administration, go to appearances. I'll just leave that page. Back into boost again advanced settings, go down to our raw SCSS and we'll just put in the heading one tag in there and we'll change it to color colon, we'll just make it red so it stands out and save. We go back into admin and you can see it's already appeared up there. So I didn't have to clear the cache, but it, you may have to. One other thing that I will show you just quickly as well, because it is relevant to admins is that if you go into, and I'll just use cache as the search term and scroll down a little bit down here, there is a thing called theme designer mode. So theme designer mode, which you can turn on, normally all the theme images style sheets are all cached in the browser uh, and on the server for a very long time. If you are doing some developing and want to change things and make it happen quicker without having to keep clearing the cache all the time, choose theme designer mode, but don't leave that on for a production server. So make sure it's off. But this is an alternative way to save you going back into that cache all the time and clearing it when you need to. So hopefully that's been useful for you. Check out the courses on Moodle below and I'll see you in the next video.